What is up, pilots? Merle here, bringing you a Wreckage TDM gameplay on the Assault Mech. And today I'm going to be talking about 7 tips for beginners. Even if you have been playing the game for a long time, there's probably something in here that can help you out. Uh, this is in no way a guide, this is just 7 things that I believe that all beginners should be aware of. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Number one, watch your radar. Your radar is an incredible resource. It will allow you to have uh, significantly increased situational awareness. As you can see during the gameplay here, I can't see anything, but if you look at my radar, you can clearly see those two red dots, which allowed me to know exactly where those two enemies were, pop out, and pick up this kill on the G2 Raider. So, when you're... When you're in a situation where you can't see any enemies, you should always be looking at that radar. Now, it's also important to note what things will make you appear on the radar so as to maximize or minimize your presence on enemies' radar. So, any time that you fire your weapons, that will make you appear on radar. Any time that you boost or dodge, that also makes you appear on radar. And any time you are within the line of sight of an enemy, you are on that enemy's radar. And another good, uh, good thing to note with this that a lot of people don't realize is that after you, say, fire your weapon, you are still uh, visible on the enemy's radar for a certain short period of time, but it's still a period of time. So don't think, oh, I, I fired my weapon, I stopped, they can't see me anymore, so they're not going to know which direction I go if I just start walking some direction. They probably will know. So keep that in mind. And now we're going to move on to tip number two. Be mindful of the objective. This is especially important in uh, the objective game modes Missile Assault and Siege, but is often forgotten in things in the deathmatch and TDM. In deathmatch, your goal is to score as many points as possible because the person who scores the most points wins. So do as much damage as possible. Damage uh, directly equates to points because if you get like 60% of an assist, it's actually better than getting, let's say, 10% of a kill. So go for damage and not necessarily kills. In TDM, while getting a high score is good, you realistically want to have a high score and a good KD. If your KD is less than 1, you're hurting your team more than you're helping it. Um, unless you're playing something like Technician. As for Missile Assault and Siege, always stay towards the actual objective. Don't worry about kills or score too much. In, in Missile Assault, cap that silo, stay behind. It might not be super glamorous, but it gets the job done. And in Siege, maybe you see a big team fight, but you have a full load of EU. Take that EU back, and also know when to go to the AA and when to collect EU. Tip number three, do damage. I mentioned this in talking about Deathmatch, but it's very pertinent for all game modes. When you when you are in a fight, it is not about who gets the kill. It is about who does the most damage. If you are doing a lot of damage to the enemy team, you are helping your team more than somebody who is stealing all your kills. So, always look for ways to maximize your damage, like becoming more accurate. Tip number four, stick with your team. This is great for beginners, because at the beginning, you really don't know uh, as much as your teammates do. So being next to your team is never going to be a bad thing. And even if you aren't in the most optimal position, being in a not optimal position with a teammate is still way, way, way better than being in the perfect position by yourself. Number five, use your resources. Resources include everything from fuel to heat to items, and you need to learn how to utilize all of it effectively. So when I say fuel, 
If you are running around with full fuel the whole time, that's probably not good. You can use that fuel to gain an advantage. If you're running around and you're not firing your weapons for some reason, that's not good. You need to use heat and the heat advantage sometimes that you have on your opponents to uh, to your advantage. And finally, items. I see a lot of times people die and they have full items. There's no point in dying with full items because you're just simply not utilizing them. They're things that you could have used possibly to avoid your death. So make sure to use all your items. Number six, know your role. I see a lot of new players that will play a mech and they simply don't understand what role they need to be filling. I'll see people in technician that are just going in and YOLO diving the enemy team or people in predator doing the same thing. You really need to understand that you uh, are not a frontline mech in those in those mechs. If you feel like your team needs a frontline fighter if, or if you feel like you want to be a frontline fighter, I would recommend a different mech like Vanguard or Assault. So be mindful of your role and be mindful of what your team needs. If your team is filled with A-classes, maybe you want to hop in a C-class to give your team a little extra beef. And the last one is welcome the challenge. There's always going to be a challenge in the game. You're never going to be the best player. So what you want to do is you want to accept the fact that there are better players than you and challenge yourself to become as good as they are. I see a lot of new players that just quit out of games or will leave the lobby if there is a, a player in the lobby that is better than them. And this is really not good. If there's a player that's better than you, I would recommend that you throw yourself at them because you'll see how they play and if you're forced to play against better people, you will become better yourself. But that's all the time that I have. I hope that these tips helped you. And if you like the video, please like the video. If you would like to see more of my content, subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.